this is Naella. Thank you so much for joining me again today. So today I'm going to be sharing with you an EFT tapping round for I Am Strong. So this is to bring in the energy of strength. Sometimes when we are moving in a new direction or we're faced with new things, we can feel a little bit intimidated. We might start having a dip in confidence and it might even affect our physical body where we will have weaknesses, um, perhaps trigger a recurring illness. You know, there could be lots of different reasons it comes forward. So if you are in that place right now where you would like a little bit of extra strength in mind, body and spirit, then this is the EFT tapping round for you. So before we do this, before we get started, it is super important that we are fully hydrated before doing any energy work or before doing any EFT. So if you haven't got any water at hand or haven't got a glass of water, please pause this video and go and get yourself a nice glass of water. I'm just gonna take a sip of water myself before we begin. And this EFT tapping round, I'm going to go through the whole of the points. So if you're not familiar with EFT tapping, I'll just quickly run through the points that I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to set the intention on the karate chop point. Set the intention, set the intention. I'm going to go into here, the eyebrow point, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin chest top of the head okay you ready just repeat what i say and if anything i can't get my words out now if anything i says says if, if anything i say does not resonate then um just leave it out and replace it for something of your own hopefully i'm going to manage to get my words out here <laughs> okay so starting on the karate chop point Today, I choose to acknowledge my strength in mind, body and spirit. Today, I choose to acknowledge my strength in mind, body and spirit. Today, I choose to acknowledge my strength in mind, body and spirit. Okay, starting on the points. I am strong in mind, body and spirit. I let go of all the stories that the mind has about me being weak weak willed lame unhealthy, pathetic, useless, feeble, fragile and frail, puny, sickly, unstable, unsteady, helpless and any other energies, programs, 
stories and ideas held connected to this theme. I let them all go. They are not my truth. And they never were. Okay, so now we're just going to put our hands on our heart. I would like you to close your eyes, take some nice deep breaths. So we're going to release the old, all these old stories that we've been telling ourselves. So in the in-breath, we're going to allow in fresh new energy. Nice deep breath in. And on the out-breath, we're going to release all the old. We're going to welcome in truth, our real truth, our universal truth on the in-breath and release the old stagnant, old stories, energies, programs on the out breath. One more breath, nice deep breath in. And release. Just repeat after me now in your mind or out loud. I am strong in mind, body and spirit and again I am strong in mind, body and spirit one more time I am strong in mind, body and spirit okay open up your eyes you might want to shake yourself off so just have a, a think about how you feel now compared to when you started and if you don't quite have that strength that you would like then just repeat the process repeat this tapping round and then see how you feel and if you feel strong enough then then go off on your day as strong and empowered or if you're still feeling a little bit weak and that inner dialogue is telling you that you're still all the things you know, all that weakness, feeble, fragile, all those old programs are still there, then you may want to stick with this for 30 to 33 days to reprogram the mind, let go of all the old and allow in the truth. The truth is that you are strong in mind, body and spirit. It's just all those old stories and programs getting in the way of you being fully able to embody that. So the more you do this, the more you will tune in with your truth and allow the body to heal and do whatever it needs to do. Allow the mind to heal and do whatever it needs to do and show up in a stronger, more empowered way the more you do it. So I'm going to leave that with you today. I am sending you so much love. I am wishing you a truly amazing day, whatever you decide to do. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. Goodbye for now.